Hi, this is Ferdy with Wine Insiders. Thank you for joining our Ultimate Wine Pairing Series. Today, we'll pair wine with one of the world's favorite comfort foods, pizza. There are so many pizzas I love, but for this pairing, we are going to use the first tomato-based pizza ever made, the marinara. So in the 1600s, in the port of Naples, the fishermen would visit the local tavern to deliver the catch and grab a bite to eat. But these men were poor, and all they could afford was flatbread with a drizzle of olive oil. So they kept asking the pizzaiolo to make it more flavorful, but within their budget. So that's when a spoonful of tomato sauce, a sprinkle of oregano, some thinly sliced garlic, and a drizzle of olive oil were added to create the marinara. And to this day, the marinara is one of the staples of every pizzeria in Naples and in the world. So for this pairing, we're going to apply the rule of what grows together, goes together. That's why I've selected a wine that is also from Campania, this wonderful Cantina di Solopaca Ayanico. So now let's talk about this pairing. Every aroma in this Ayanico is complementary to the marinara. The red fruit and dried fruit aromas are complementary to the tanginess of the sauce, the sharp flavors of the oregano, the garlic, the tart fruit flavors are also very complementary of the char on the crust of the pizza. Ayanico has great acidity, which will match the acidity of the tomato sauce without overpowering it. The wine is medium bodied with soft tannins, which will give just enough weight on your palate to match the weight of the pizza. The harmonious combination between the fruitiness of the wine and the savoriness of the pizza creates that perfect bite. Cheers! Now, there are many ways to eat a pizza. You can use a cutter and cut it into slices. You can use fork and knife like a proper Italian, or you can do it the real way, a portafoglio, the wallet style. You fold it like this and take a nice bite. Mm.